Hello, today I'm very excited to talk to you about Contenta.js. Contenta.js is a um, Node.js proxy that you can use in your decoupled Drupal applications to sit in front of Drupal, so uh, you can gain uh, a lot of uh, performance, reusability, and uh, on other things. Um, so why do we need a, a proxy, uh, and in particular a Node.js proxy, um, in the first place? The best win uh, that you get when you introduce this kind of proxies is performance. PHP and Drupal in practice uh, cannot have blo non-blocking I.O., meaning that it blocks all the input-output operations and waits for the result to return. Uh, that introduces performance problems that Node.js doesn't have because it's designed to have non-blocking I.O. from the start. So by using a proxy that has non-blocking I.O., you gain performance because you can do more operations while waiting on HTTP responses to come back or file disk operations, etc. Another big reason is because in many projects in practice, Drupal is reduced to a content repository. And that means that it's reduced to a microservice, a microservice that only serves uh, content data. And there are other microservices that do other stuff and you coordinate all those at uh, the Node.js or at the proxy level. And uh, again, it serves as a central place and reduces Drupal to not be your whole application, but only serve as a part, as the part that it does best, which is managing content. Uh, so these two reason about why we need a proxy, but uh, server-side rendering reasons about why we need it in Node.js, and that is because the, all of the major front-end frameworks in JavaScript for web, modern web UIs use server-side rendering in Node.js, uh, being React, Vue, or uh, Angular, etc. And that's why we need a Node.js application, because we need server-side rendering for uh, front-end performance and SEO, etc. And then you can, now that you have introduced an, another central backend piece, you can use it to do uh, cron operations that don't necessarily have to live inside of Drupal because they do things that are not related to Drupal. Uh, so all of those different operations can go into this proxy as well. So if you uh, have to use a Node.js proxy, which I am pretty confident that you will in every decoupled Drupal application, then you may as well use Contenta.js because that will give you a lot of things for free. And uh, the things that it gives you for free is that uh, it has an automatic integration with uh, the Contenta CMS API. It inspects the open API, the description of your, uh, of your content API, and it avoids requests that the proxy knows that are going to fail because uh, the resource doesn't exist and it's going to be a 404 and we already know so why bother drupal in the first place and introduce artificial load in there uh, so that's an example it does other types of integration it also brings a multi-threaded process in the node.js server and uh, that that means that it takes advantage of all of the scores in your cpu and all of the CPUs that your server may have. So it spins up as many processes as it can uh, and lets you be more performant about it. And it comes with a, a monitoring tool that if a process dies, it just gets uh, restarted automatically. So you don't have to uh, go and manage that and uh, find out that, oh, half of the processes have died due to unexpected things. Um, so that also, uh, comes for free there is a lot of there is a lot of experience in node.js projects that come or that have coalesced into contenta uh, js and uh, that uh, is like a compendium of all of the best practices like uh, an http client that does application cache so you can actually avoid making the http request if you could get it from cache, just like the browser would do, but in a in a backend server, and um, also configurable 
course, etc., etc., etc. You get a lot for free that you would have to reinvent the wheel uh, every time. Uh, but the best thing about Content.js is that it sets a common ground for all of the decoupled Drupal projects to have a somewhat similar Node.js server, Node.js proxy application that runs all of these tasks. And by having uh, the same common ground, we can start to collaborate with each other and reuse components. Maybe someone uh, can contribute a helper for server-side rendering in Vue or uh, can contribute some other techniques that are useful in the in the Node.js proxy. So that uh, instead of having a, it be each Node.js server, its own separate, completely different thing from project to project and from uh, agency to agency, we can have a common thing that we can all work together and be more productive and share code in the open source spirit. So that's basically what Contenta.js is. And I hope you, you like this presentation and uh, it's probably because of these beautiful uh, pictures that uh, these people kindly donated. <laughs>